Snake River and Brownlee Dam. Now in Oregon. So we're in Baker City, Oregon, and I had something that I ain't never seen before. We went to go pay for our gas, and he gives me a, uh, a code to punch in. Took my money and said that we had to, somebody's honking, they better not be honking at us. And it says we had to come back in with the receipt if we wanted our money back if it didn't take it all and I'm not used to this kind of thing you folks in bigger towns you probably are but where we live you either pay up or you get shot that's all there is to it and I don't know this is interesting Yeah, and then I walked in and asked him how to get there, and I, I showed him the map. And he goes, boy, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. He says, everybody's got navigators and things. <laughs> yeah, well, not everybody. Almost the town of Baker, Oregon. They got them a forest fire, too. doesn't look like it's been burning really all that long. said that that fire just started and it's burning up the mountain there's a couple of big towers up there that might be uh, their cell phone towers that run those navigators I'll stick to my paper maps <laughs> they don't know what started it I guess it just started it's going pretty good though part of the Oregon Trail here Long, flat bunch of nothing. Actually, it's not that flat. It's pretty rolling and some places pretty steep. Good morning. Well, we made it to Prineville, Oregon, and found a spot kind of out of the way. There's a lot of people in Prineville. I didn't realize how big a town this was. I guess there's 11,000 something. A lot bigger than what we're used to. Kind of a, a neat bluff up there. Got our little rolling cabin. It's doing pretty good. Cindy's in making us some breakfast. And 
it's kind of funny. I uh, I looked up here. Ooh, ash browns got bacon going. I looked up here and I thought I don't remember that being as clear as that. <laughs> it's because it's gone. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to find a new one of those before it rains. Picked up a hitchhiker, but he keeps trying to get out. I like these juniper forests like this. But the further west we're getting, the more folks there are. I'm not liking that very much. how fast it changes. That's the little ways up the road is all juniper forests. Now these are all ponderosa pine. Getting to be a lot more rats in the cage. I'm not liking all the people. Sisters, Oregon. Okay, you don't need makeup. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> well, yes, I do. Okay, thank you. On the bottom of the hill where those blackberries are, there's a pond. Uh huh. And the water goes that way. Well, we made it. Mom lives right there. No. I That's my house right there. The gray one on the corner. It's not the green one. It's gray. The gray one on the corner. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the cul de sac. Like well, this one here is Mom's house. And as you can see, she has some neighbors. We weren't expecting that. I thought she was kind of more in the middle of nowhere and a little flatter ground. So <laughs> we talked the neighbor into letting us park over here onto this somewhat flat spot. But it was pretty sloped and this drops off pretty good down off the hill here. Oh, so I blocked the tires really good and on both sides and things. And last night we were... Um, almost asleep and felt the dang thing start to roll and <laughs> we didn't want to go down there we thought we were going to go down there that turned out all that happened was that the the jack slipped off these blocks of wood i'm really glad when i unhooked it i left the safety chain still hooked up so Otherwise, it might have been kind of a wild ride. Now i got to figure out how to get that hook undone. It's going to be pretty tight. Hmm. 
That's interesting.